most of them in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living in a time of having. When I am busy working, there's always noises about, but the early morning hours of the night or the very early morning ri rising hours are the best time for a man who is living outside to do things for his life. Many people who work in retail are content to work in retail a long time. And the reason they are is because they like the flexibility of the hours, they like being up on their feet, they like moving about, but that's not me. I did work in retail for a time. I did gather more stamina for my body by doing that. But someone in a family, someone somewhere in a stranger network, decided to attack my life. They decided to attack my body. They decided to say things about me that wasn't their lawful right. And here's what I'm saying to them. God is not pleased. God is so not pleased that he has given the world COVID. Now, is that my fault? No. Is that your fault? Possibly. Are you out of line and are you out of bounds on someone else's life? Most definitely. Every human being makes that misstep. Every human being goes too far in something. Every human being has those lessons in life. The only question is, did you learn the lesson? The lesson says that my being belongs to me. Your being belongs to you. My body belongs to me, and I decide who I disclose it to. Your body belongs to you, and you decide who you disclose your private, naked body to. You make the decision on who you're going to play with, lay with, or stay with. And that usually involves the intimacy of people. The intimacy of people begins through social conversation, social constructs, projects together, teamwork, triads, who knows. But what I'm saying to you is once it goes and becomes a little more physical, once the hugging begins, once the smooching begins, once the macking begins, once the fucking begins, and I hate to say it that way, but that's what people talk about today, it's a totally different ballgame. But the bottom line is if you're not participating in those intimate moments, you have no moral high ground on anyone's life. You have no right to comment on anyone's body. You have no right to decide you want to see it. You have no right to, to put your hands down someone's pants. You have no right to try to pull someone out of a shirt. And I can tell you, since I've been in the city, since I've had to sleep outside, someone actually pulled my shirts off and put them back on me. I was totally out like a light. But why was I out like a light? Because someone in a retail food market slipped me a Mickey. And that made it impossible to wait. These are the concerns of American culture. Human trafficking can be a lot of different things. It can be sexual human trafficking, but it can also be information trafficking. We have to be careful with what we learn about people, and we have to be careful with our mouths. People who gossip, lie, steal, and cheat people out of lives are usually passing around private information that's nobody's business. And that's a problem today. We have people that don't say, none your business. We have people get offended when people say, gosh, I'm sorry, I don't discuss that. That's not really appropriate to discuss in this context of our relationship. That's not really appropriate to talk about in our current situation. If our situation starts to evolve and change, then we might have that conversation. I can remember point blank saying to a woman who was allowed in my private up office that was on the second story of my town business, that openly that there might be something that could happen to me. Their hard conditions are a problem in my family. And because she was so trusted, and because she was so loved, and because she was such a great business friend, I said to her, if I'm ever at an event where you are, and I have a heart attack, please clear the room and stay with me. Now that should have told her something. That should have told her that I trusted her with my life. And that should have told her that if my wife wasn't there, I needed her there. I needed her to be that friend that she claimed to be.